Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, Liam. No. You said no? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I thought, um, I told them inside they were really proud of their effort today. I thought um, today was a day that we grew up a little bit. I think, you know, in the past, this would have been a game where we kind of couldn't find our footing, couldn't find our way back. Um, I think Ryan did an amazing job of really keeping things calm for everybody, keeping things poised. Um, and then obviously she took over in the third quarter. Um, but yeah, this is this is a good win for us against a really good against a really good Seattle team. Um, but Ryan, this question is for you. This was kind of the first time you had Thanks. you, Leash, and Jordan on the on the board today. How did that feel to be playing that show? Uh, clearly, it was great. Um, just to all be finally together. Um, that's my first time playing with JC period all season. Um, but it was great just to be able to have a sense of being able to get easy looks and open shots without having to do it like off my own account. Coach, you said in the past that, um, you know, in a situation like this, the team may have folded, but what about the break and what about the practice that led to this type of one? I don't think I used those words, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, I just said that it may have been a little bit harder for us to get up out of that. Um, I, I just think there's a there's a confidence when you have, you know, your best players out on the floor. Um, we've been missing Jordan. And just like Ryan said, like, she she's somebody who has experience in this league, who's won championships in this league. And so to have somebody out there, just a floor general, that can create and find the right people at the right time, um, and different things like that and having experience, you know what I mean? Being able to go to her for the last shot, knowing that I'm going to get a decent shot. Um, so I think just little things, little things like that. But again, kudos to them. They did a good job of keeping their composure um, and executing down the stretch, getting stops when we needed to get stops, getting to the free throw line, because I think we did that really well in the last two or three minutes when we needed to do that. So. Um, yeah, they they called my number for a play. I, I went up to T to make sure that she wanted me to go and and score. And um, you know, Rye was the last person I saw, and she put confidence in me. She was like, "Go get a bucket." I like to think I'm a bucket, so I went and got a bucket. In case they forgot. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. What was the question? I'm sorry. I just kind of zoned out because <laughs> Tina was just, <laughs> I don't know what she was doing just now. Sorry. Okay. Oh, for, for, um, that, I mean, we, we, we needed, there was only four seconds on the, on the shot clock and I think we needed a high efficient shot. Um, and Tina on the block, you know what I mean? Is a, is a high value shot for us. Um, and so getting her on the left block with a one-on-one, I knew the gravity of Ryan and leash. So I knew there wouldn't be any, um, digs or any help, um, coming from there. And I thought JC did a good job of making sure she can complete the, complete the pass. Tina stepped to it because NECA had a hand on it. Mm -hmm. We did a good job of stepping to it and being able to, to get up a, a decent shot, which is shots that she's made in her career over and over before. Uh, Ron, what helped you get going in the third quarter with those transitions? Um, I don't know that anything helped me. I just, I mean, I always say it, shoot or shoot. So once I see one go in, then the next couple are going to be heat checks. Um, So they continue to go in. My teammates continue to find me and get me open looks to, you know, make them easier. But just... I would say everything leading up into the game and knowing that I have to be a little selfish and take over at times, it's just, it's bound to happen. She was just in an amazing zone. You know, a lot of times when um when she was making those plays and sometimes she would miss, she was like, hey, I see you, I got you. And I've been blessed to be in those situations where you're just in a zone. And I kept telling her to just keep going because only a few can really get in that type of zone, get in that mind frame and just going. I know what it feels like. And I just kept telling her, just keep going. Don't don't worry about it. I'm going to try to rebound, try to get you open. Um, so she was just in an amazing zone, and it was just great to be on the floor with her and just seeing that and witnessing that, you know, the future is really bright in our league, and it's because of Ryan Howard. So it was great.
Thanks, Thanks to me. For any of you guys um, coming to set out to me was the, the Battle of the Forge there. It seems like you guys did a pretty good job. Did you rebound any battles? Any comments mm -hmm. on that? I thought Nas was amazing on the rebounds, on the boards, um, the little things that she brings to our teams. Um, you know, I think it it goes understated at times, but um, her ability to rebound, tough rebounds, you know what I mean? Go in there and snatch. She got five O boards today, which I'm sure we probably converted on some of those O boards. Um, so, you know, as we can see, every point mattered, you know what I mean? So those rebounds really can um got us got us going at times and it's just an energy boost you know what i mean when you can rebound like that when you can box out and you can run i think that helped us in our transition especially in the first quarter because we were able to get out and run um so when we're able to to rebound like that it jump starts our transition which is where we want to be at in general for a majority of the game if we can yeah tim this question is for you uh you know you're pretty quiet so we don't usually see you get too hyped mm -hmm. um but uh we saw the the big hype circle after that that game winning shot like what was going on what were your teammates saying to you after that after that shot i mean it's just a game winning shot i think it was just great that every everybody um was able to be a part of it you know we were just happy um you know we like to say that this is a new season for us but you know sometimes you got to look back and you know we've had a losing streak going so i think it was just a breath of fresh air um, I, I didn't care who made it, you know, we just trying to win this game. Um, I was thankful, as you said, I've been here for a long time to not go into overtime. Um, <laughs> so that's what I was more hype about than anything. But um, it was just a great feel, it was just a great win. It was a great team win. Um, you know, we talk about players and our growth, but also just seeing Tanisha's growth and, and timeouts and calling certain sets and getting players in certain positions. So it was just beautiful all around. Uh, this question's for Ryan. Um, obviously, you went to Paris. You were able to get up to bronze with the three-on-three team. What did you take from that experience? Obviously, it was, it was tough at the beginning, but you guys were able to rally and, and bring home a medal. What, what do you think you can take from that experience forward in your, in your basketball career? Uh, I definitely think the conditioning and the physicality. Um, Welcome to Europe. I mean, even when I was in Italy, it was different. They just allow a lot more in 3x3, um, but being able to have been conditioning to go through that and battle. Like I know the teams are going to be keying on me and trying to be physical. So being able to have the conditioning, have the mental and physical capacity to continue to, you know, have success in this league. I think that'll be good going forward. Mic drop. Like we're done. Looks like we're done. Looks like we're done. Looks like we're done. Thank you. We're done. And we're done. <laughs> that was perfect.